2023. Hello, I'm Jeff Higgins from Higgins Storm Chasing. Okay, well, Australia is lighting up like a Christmas tree tonight with lightning strikes being detected right across inland parts of Western Australia, down in through inland parts of Queensland and particularly in southern inland parts of Queensland and also New South Wales where numerous severe thunderstorms have broke out today. Okay, if we move on to New South Wales, this is live radar now. This is at 6.23 p.m. or Queensland time, 7.23 New South Wales. You can see these clusters and lines of thunderstorms really surging now towards the east and northeast. Inverell being hit there. Um, Tamworth got hit earlier. Walgut got hit with a bit of roof damage, but there's been some, some good rainfall from this, no doubt, um, as you can see when, when they're um, lit up with activity like that. This also extends into southern Queensland now, and we are starting to see, if I get over here onto my Queensland map, and we are starting to see activity really start to push towards the coast. Okay, so it has been added over the inland areas all day, and this activity pushes through tonight and into tomorrow. It's actually even just starting to fire up here now in, in the southeast coast region, which, which I'll go into now and have a look. And show you so you can see you can see clusters of storms there now starting on the Darling Downs, particularly around Toowoomba, Highfields and Oakey, Crow's Nest. There was a severe cell earlier that hit Rath Downey with some heavy rain and hail, strong winds. These may continue into tonight and increase tomorrow. Let's have a look at tomorrow. Okay, so if, if you head over to the Higgins Storm Chasing website we have Higgins Storm Chasing yearly membership okay this yearly membership offers um, detailed forecasts maps and graphics like the one that I'm about to show you now so this is for Tuesday you can see that we have large parts of southeast Queensland northeast New South Wales and northern New South Wales in an extreme risk area for severe thunderstorms okay so we're looking at severe thunderstorms with a chance of supercells or supercells likely for north for southeast queensland north new south wales so this basically would extend from about bundaberg gimpy sunshine coast brisbane you are included gold coast casino down to about grafton we've extended that area inland to where there is a surface low generating generating these this thunderstorm activity to its east okay so the extreme risk areas shaded there in 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 pink or purple depends which way you see the color um, supercells are likely damaging winds large to very large hail heavy rain dangerous frequent lightning okay we are under the pump tomorrow in southeast queensland northeast new south wales from this from this trough pushing through high risk areas are also possible supercells damaging winds large hail and frequent rain Heavy lightning, heavy rain. Okay, so it, it, I mean, it's a fairly tight area tomorrow, all right, that the, the trough becomes very defined and the storms push through towards the, towards the east. Now, there is a contributing factor here tomorrow. A south or southerly change is pushing up the coast. Now, what this does is it, it collides with other winds coming through from the west and winds coming down in from the north and it generates a triple point. These triple point areas under the right conditions under high instability days can produce storms such as the gap storm that hit Brisbane. We're not saying that's going to happen, but these are the types of setups, atmospheric setups that can trigger those types of, of storm systems and events. So we will be watching this southerly change very closely. Now, if it comes through too early, Anywhere to the south will be quite clear of, of severe thunderstorms. So if it pushes up to, say, Brisbane by, by lunchtime, then areas to the south have a slightly lesser chance of receiving those severe storms because it's cooler. There's cooler air coming in. Won't affect anything over the inland at all. It'll still generate severe thunderstorms and push through a little bit as well. But wherever this triple point reaches, if it reaches Brisbane by lunchtime and there's maximum heating there and storms start to fire, this triple point wind convergence will greatly enhance those thunderstorms to become likely severe and they could be very nasty. So that's going to come down to Mother Nature and that comes down to live updates.
all right but that's the risks from grafton right up here to fraser extreme risk all right guys that's enough for me it's a short quick update highlighting the severe storms for tuesday tomorrow over southeast queensland northeast new south wales now tonight if we just have a quick look we do have scattered thunderstorms starting to develop this evening as part of that change coming through and this does continue on into wednesday and then thursday and it retreats but we'll, we'll keep you updated with those as well and if you head over to the premium members we'll be updating things over there on a much more detailed type forecast right cheers guys thanks for watching and stay safe prepare for tomorrow and watch those storms tonight